Hi, I'm Jeff Stokes. Welcome to Jeff's Daily Dose of Encouragement. Today I want to encourage you uh, with a word on the prophetic. And what I mean by the prophetic is not the prophecies of the Old Testament that uh, speak of Jesus coming or of even the prophetic words that Jesus brought in the New Testament, but I'm talking about the prophetic gifting, the gift of prophecy uh, in the New Testament and how it operates. And in 1 Corinthians 14 and down in verse 3 it says, But he that prophesies speaks unto me in edification, exhortation and comfort. So it's building up exhorting people sometimes there's a bit of a let's say a challenge to to you know move forward and 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 and, and encourage people to move forward into all that they are and to and to comfort people to give them that sense of i guess belonging in christ and things like that <clears throat> and sometimes what happens in the prophetic is that god i have often found over the years there are certain scriptures that when people bring a prophetic word to someone or in a meeting that the same sort of scriptures will come up all the time and sometimes I've even heard people challenge the use of that in saying oh no but that scripture was for that time then and that the context of it was to do with uh, such and such a time and, and a very good example of that is the scripture we often use from Jeremiah uh, 29 verse 11 and it says for I know the thoughts that I think toward you says the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end as some versions say to give you a future and a hope then shall you call upon me and you shall go and pray unto me and I will hearken unto you and you shall seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart now if we read if you read the whole chapter of jeremiah 29 it's obviously talking about um, those that are being taken away captive um, in, 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 in the uh, babylonian captivity and then it's encouraging those people at the time because the, the verse prior to verse 11 says, For thus says the Lord, that after 70 years be accomplished at Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good words toward you and causing you to return to this place. But you see, God can use the scriptures in other contexts for different reasons in order to encourage people that in their particular situation that he, they're in, that he also is thinking about them and encouraging them to turn to him, etc. There's there's another one that's is in, in Second Chronicles seven fourteen. If my people who are, if my people who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sin and heal their land. It's, it's that that scripture was written at the time or came at the time in a particular context but we use it today because the, the truth of it uh, stands firm in the situation for which God intends it now um, and and one I just bought recently was from Psalm 2 which is ask of me and I'll give you the nation's fear your inheritance um, that is true today God said God said uh, to Abraham he promised Abraham that in you or in your seed all the nations of the earth shall be blessed and and he says to us sometimes I will give you the nations for your inheritance especially if you have a real heart for lost souls a heart for evangelism a heart to win the world before Jesus returns uh, that's the type of thing he means and he means that particular thing and that particular thing only in that particular context whereas in the context originally that it was brought when David prophesied about the coming of Jesus there was a time when it says many times in the Bible that Jesus will, will rule them, rule with a rod of iron etc and dash the nations in pieces that's the time of judgment when it's coming 
but there is a time now where there's you know there's there's soon to be a great ingathering and and as it were, we can say that God has given us the nations for our inheritance so that they all come to him because it's actually not us anyway. It's through Christ and that he wants to win them now before the time of judgment because when that time comes, it will be too late. So that's my encouragement for you today uh, concerning a word on the prophetic and how to understand it. The prophetic often is about um, speaking potential to people and then it's up to them to develop and walk and grow in their walk with God so they can so that the God then then can can then fulfill those promises that he is speaking forth if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you will be saved for whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God God dwells in him and he in God God bless you. Have a great day.